Welcome to Patty for Liberty. I'm Patty Maloney, owner of PattyForLiberty.com and creator of this channel. So when I started this YouTube channel, it was back in 2018 when I ran for office and I had no real intentions of creating a YouTube channel back then. So I have quite a few videos I've made since then, but he never really made an intro. So I'm trying to do that today to tell you a little bit about who I am why I'm a libertarian, what is a libertarian, and how you can help me. So, like I said, I'm Patty Malowney. Um, I have a full-time marketing business. I am a mom to five children and grandma to two. In my previous life, before I became politically active, I owned the website JustMommies.com with my sister. Um, we started it back in 2004. At the time, I had a ten. I had a ten dollar dial it plan and and my sister bought me a forty five dollar garage sale computer and um, we worked really hard on it for three years we started with um a just a few members we had like 10 or 15 members and we wrote a ton of content we started with i started writing like potty training and parenting articles and and then by the time we sold it we had uh, probably over a thousand articles and we were getting about three million visitors a month so i sold my business my first business to eHarmony in 2008 and um, i bought a beautiful five bedroom house on three acres we had four rental properties i had my five children we homeschooled um we were living the good life um and we had but we had some problems we had problems that a lot of um, families have with alcoholism substance abuse and mental health issues but our issues weren't the kind of issues that other people haven't dealt with I know that I have friends that have dealt with these things too so in 2014 my daughter who was 12 at the time attempted suicide and when I brought her to the hospital I knew that there was probably going to be um some investigating and things going on but i had no idea how bad it would be um a month later um all five of my children were removed they were separated and put all over the state we were driving three hours um to see one kid six hours to see another kid two hours to see another kid once a week um we spent twenty thousand dollars on our, our first um, retainer for an attorney and by the time everything was said and done, um, I ended up divorced. Um, my son was adopted in foster care. And my other, my daughter, who really just needed help for her depression, was locked up for five years. So I get really emotional about that sometimes, but I need you to understand that's what motivated me to get involved in politics. I don't really enjoy politics, um, even though I do enjoy seeing um people making changes, I would have never stepped into this role if it weren't for all the things that happened in my life. I went from having a beautiful home to pretty much having nothing in just a matter of a couple of years. So I'm starting my life over with a new libertarian fiance who's incredibly supportive, great friends, and I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel and spread my style and libertarianism which is friendly welcoming um tolerant and open um i want to grow this party i'm no longer in the libertarian party but i'm hoping that's a temporary setback what i want to see is the concept of libertarianism the idea of a smaller government a uh, government that invades in your life and takes um your your livelihood away um changed in my lifetime um, not everybody has been as affected by government overreach as me, but I believe it happens more than people acknowledge in family court, in our jail systems, our court systems, um, in our tax systems. So that's why I talk. I don't, I try not to talk just about things that matter to me. So why I'm a libertarian? Well, because I don't think the government should be telling us what to do, how to parent our kids, how to educate our kids, whether to use drugs or um, how to run our business or our lives. That's my main reason. And I think most people agree with that, that side of libertarianism. So I discovered the libertarian party um, and libertarianism back in 2008 when I was a homeschool parent and we, um, 
I thought that medical marijuana should be legal. Those were kind of the two things that interested me in libertarianism. But I've grown since then. So for anyone new to my channel, I want to explain what libertarianism is because people always ask me. They don't really know. They just know we're a third party and some of us are fringe. And we're not. We're really not fringe people. Um, libertarianism is something that I think most Americans are if they knew what it was. We believe in individual freedom by limiting the role of government. Now, this is where people sometimes don't know if they're really a libertarian. Um, we believe in the government should be limited. In other words, the government should only be stepping in, in, the, in the, to intervene with force or fraud, like crimes, like cr true front crimes, where somebody's actually being injured or um, something's being stolen from them, not um, to tell you what you can smoke and do in your own body um, or some of the things that people, a lot of people in our prison systems are in there for. Um, drug addiction is, shouldn't be a crime. It's, it's an illness. It's a disease. It's not something we should be locking people up for. It's something I feel really strongly about and one of the reasons I'm a libertarian. Um, and we aren't really right or left. A lot of people think we are um, like lib or Republican light, and some people think we are even more right than the right. Um, we're not right or left. We're principled. We like fairness. We like, um, if you've ever played Monopoly with somebody who cheats, um, we like things to be fair. We like everybody to have the same equal opportunity, and you can't do that when you show um, some people you help some people and don't help other people. This is why people are complaining about Wall Street bailouts, car, um, the car dealership bailouts, the student loan bailouts. Well, what about me? You help them, you help them, you help them. And the more we try to help people, the more money we're spending. And we cannot help everyone fairly. The, the easiest way in libertarians' minds is to have a smaller government um, and let people decide how to use their money. Let people decide um, how to help people. Um, some of the ways you can kind of decide if you are a libertarian or not is how you think the government should handle things. Do you think it's the government's role to intervene in economic si situations? Should they be bailing out um, companies? Should they be propping up big companies like Amazon to stimulate our economy or create jobs? Are those roles that you think the government should be doing? Or do you think they should get out of the business of um, trying to run our economy? Um, those are some things that can help you decide if you're a libertarian. I think a lot of Republicans align with us on economic policies, at least in theory, but they don't do it in practice. Um, and the other thing is, like, how do you think the government should handle social and moral issues? Should they be telling people who they can and can't marry? Should they be telling people, um, you can't do drugs, we're going to lock you up if you do? Um, should they be involved in crimes that aren't violent, that aren't really hurting anyone? Um, those are some things that you can be asking yourself to decide if you are a libertarian. Now, for me... Libertarianism isn't the be-all, end-all. Like, when I say that, I mean a lot of people say, well, I'm not a libertarian because, you know, we should have libraries and we should have roads. Who's going to build that? Who's going to take care of our disabled people, our elderly? Are you going to get rid of Social Security? That's not my brand of liberty. Our government is so huge and bloated. Even if I wanted to scale back the entire government, back to 1913 before we had income taxes, um, it's not going to happen. So what I think most people, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or a hardcore libertarian, agree that there's lots of places we can scale back government, lots of places that are not... Um, run efficiently where we're wasting money where we're lot where our jail systems have people locked up that shouldn't um we're spending a lot of money that we shouldn't those are the things that libertarians care about and i may not be wording this perfectly but what i believe in is common sense government a small efficiently run government where you can decide if you want to buy a pack of cigarettes or not um 
if you want to use marijuana, if you want to marry a gay guy that's 47 years older than you, you can do what you want in this country. That's one of the things people come to America for. And one of the reasons I want to grow this channel is because I see people that are young and don't understand government um, taxes, uh, capitalism, and how how corrupt things are, that we don't really have a um, capitalist or free market country um, that we pick and choose who we want to help and that most of us are getting the short end of the stick. I want to reach people like me. I have friends that are Democrats and Republicans, and I want this channel to be a place for them to learn about libertarianism and to realize we're not wackos. We are people that want to see a smaller, common sense government that follows the Constitution. And um, that's the kind of liberty I want to spread. And I realize I've had comments on here about I haven't talked about this and I haven't talked about that. Well, I'm just getting started, folks. Um, I've been creating content for a, uh, since I was 28 years old. So I plan to write good quality content and create videos that are a real resource, but it takes time to write and create content that's actually informative and educational and um, meaningful. So you're going to have to bear with me as I grow this channel. But if you like what I'm trying to do, my brand of libertarianism that isn't trying to just recruit disgruntled Republicans or woke libertarians, if you're looking for someone who wants to grow libertarianism, explain it in a way that people can get on board with this and start learning more, um, subscribe to my channel, like my channel, leave me a comment. Um, I'm really putting an effort into this, and I know I'm a beginner at this, but we all start somewhere. So if you like me, if you want to see liberty in your lifetime, help me grow this channel, my Facebook group, and my website. I have SEO and marketing and content marketing skills, um, and I would also greatly appreciate anybody who likes writing, likes creating content, but doesn't have an outlet for sharing it. To get in touch with me, I would be thrilled to publish content, libertarian content on my um, blog or, or share your ideas on my blog if they make sense. Um, so that's my intro. I promise there's going to be some more better content. I have a lot of ideas. Um, I work a full time business. I have five kids, two grandkids and a relationship. So I only have so much me to come to go around. But I really appreciate all the support I've had and all the wonderful feedback I've had from friends. So if you like Liberty, hit the like button, subscribe button, check out the description. I've left a link in there to my website and my Facebook group. And I would be so thrilled to see you join. Thank you for checking in. I'll see you again soon. Hopefully talk about some topics that you might care about.